How is everybody today? Today is Monday. And I guess it's kind of Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little late. It's actually 12.02 a.m. And I'm recording Undertale. Uh, now the reason why it's 12.02 a.m. on Tuesday and not Monday is because uh, I went and saw Star Trek. One of my friends. It was a pretty good show. It was a actually pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, so we're at 145.18. Yeah, 12.03. Okay. Okay. And I guess I, I gotta remember how to play since I haven't played in like two weeks. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Okay. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Yeah, I learned that day one. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? Who? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha. Who the heck are you talking about, kid? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Where are we going, Sans? Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Put a whoopee cushion. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Burger? I'm into fries. Although I'm gonna order a burger. Hey, that sounds good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No thanks. More for me. Did he just drink that bottle of ketchup? He's scratching his skeleton butt, too. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard, like how to keep, like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pappers told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Okay. I'll do that. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you 
hold me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Oh, great. What? No. Put it on my tab. Okay, good. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. Oh, we're all the way back here? Are you freaking kidding me? I should not have followed him. Well, let's talk to Papyrus. Yes. I'm not talking to him. Great. <laughs> Come on. Take your time. Okay, I'm going into your room. Uh, so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure, I'll start the date. Okay, dating start. Dating start. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Uh, P, R, and A. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: press the C on your on your keyboard for dating HUD. See? Tuesday. What the heck? Wow, I feel so informed. I think we're ready to step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human? I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair? You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! What is going on? <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Pappers, have never been beaten at dating. And I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear clothing. Wear my special clothing. Underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? Oh, it's a genuine compliment. He just got dirt pies. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you, s what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but it improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Mm, yeah, of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But, oh so wrong. 
This ain't any old pasta. This an this is an artisan work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged, and an oaken cask. Thing cooked by me, Master Chef Peppers. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Your face reflective, reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> oh my god. You win. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. You win. I want my you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match you, your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll, I'll keep you being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't have lips. And hey, someday... You find, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> that was weird. That was very weird. Okay. Yes. Very weird. Now we gotta go through that fog again. That sucks. Go through here, go through here. Might as well save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination, save. Oh, right. What's this? This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you do... Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box? Sure. Nope, still good. What is this? Oh god. Oh god, no. What the heck? Okay. What the heck? What's going on? Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding the human I called you about earlier. Uh... Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried my very hard, or I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? 
Bond nine. You don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Well, darn it. Oh, frick. No one here! Definitely no one here! What? Okay. That was weird. That was even weirder than the... Hi! Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. Ha. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. He biffed it. Well, I think that's gonna be about it for today. We went on a date and apparently we made an enemy uh, with Undyne. Uh, if, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like uh, down below. Uh, and, I mean, you might as well subscribe while you're at it, too. It really does help my channel out quite a bit. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.